Hi everyone and a warm welcome back to this week's class. Uh, this week we're going to be painting a giraffe and I have just learned that the little lumps on a giraffe's head are actually bones and they're called Aussie cones which is pretty crazy. Learn something new every day. I kind of thought they were just like fleshy lumps like camels but Okay, <laughs> I hope people had a beautiful week. Um, for me this week, I have got a new job, which is to be a Disney princess um, and be like a kids entertainer for parties and stuff, you know, do face painting, party games, all that. Um, and the princess they chose for me was Bao, which is pretty fun, <laughs> pretty excited for that. Um, got a party on Saturday, pretty fun. Um, and also next week on Wednesday, I've got my first gallery exhibition um, in Sydney, which is just absolutely crazy. Like to actually get work in a gallery, oof, I don't know, it's this painting, and I just I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Um, on my birthday as well, be the opening night, which should be fun. Um, but yeah super excited sort of waffling on now <laughs> um but yeah let's crack on and do this brilliant giraffe painting <laughs> this tutorial you will need brown white yellow orange red yellow ochre black and blue okay so we're going to start by sketching out the giraffe first and we'll go in and make two strong lines which is going to be its neck and then we'll do its neck fluff as well and we'll also add in all of the neck spots um the spots don't really have to be you know like exact it's just like a rough guide because this will be we'll be painting over this later but it's just for a rough idea okay and we will pause here okay now we're going to draw its eyes so we do circles and then a semicircle on top and underneath that'll be its eyelash and its waterline and then another semicircle on top of that and that'll be its eyelid and then we'll also draw its little horns here and we'll take a pause here Then we're going to draw the ears and the rest of its face. Um, in this specific painting, I've made the giraffe's face really like short and stubby. That'll make it look more like a baby. But if you make the face longer, it'll look like an older giraffe. Um, and then we're going to add in the rest of the details for the face. So the ear fluff, a couple of um, patches on its face. Again, we're just going to be painting over this, so it's just really a rough guide. Um, and yeah, we'll take a little pause here. Next, we're going to be mixing up some colours. So we're going to go in with our yellow ochre, which is a sort of mustardy colour. And then we mix that with the white. If you don't have yellow ochre, then you can just use mix yellow and orange and white together and that'll make a similar sort of color but anyway we're gonna go in to the face and add um this nice yellowy color all over these areas and we will take a pause here for you to color in these areas next without cleaning our brush we're gonna go in with that white paint and we are gonna fill in all of these areas so we're gonna go across the neck and we're going up and down in motion and this is going to create like a fur texture um we're also going to go all over the face with this white um and then we'll also go around the mouth uh, around the eyes and on the ears and we'll take a pause here next we're going to go in with brown if you don't have brown, then mix blue, red, yellow, 
and white together and you will make brown just mix all the colors together really and you'll create different tones of brown but anyway you want to add that to the top of its little horns um in the middle of its ear um on its snout um also just under where its smile will be its mouth and we are also going to add this nice dark brown going all the way down the neck and um and we'll start blending everything out so remember sort of going in a downwards direction um apart from that fluff that'll be going like a sideways direction but yeah we're gonna blend blend it all and we'll take a pause here then we're gonna go in with a small brush and go in with the brown and add some eyelids uh add some more definition on that fluff um and then we're also going to do the eyes so we're going to color those in brown on both sides and then we'll sort of go in with some like white and go over the white we've done go for brown again it's just about adding layers really um yeah and we'll pause here Next, we're going to move on to the patches. So we're going to mix our red, our orange, our yellow, our yellow ochre together and start colouring in these patches. So with giraffes, their patches aren't one solid colour. So you kind of want to have like a little bit of all the different colours showing in the patches. So um, maybe bits of brown, maybe a bit bits of white maybe bits of orange um, and then we'll also do the dots and the patches on its face as well um, and we'll take a pause here now we're going to start adding the definition and the fine details to the face so we're going to go in with a nice small brush and we're gonna get that brown and put it on the little horns <laughs> and make those horns um, nice and fluffy. So when you're painting, you always need to think about the light, where the light source is coming from. So on this, I'm thinking the light source is coming from the right. So half of the left half of your horn is gonna be the shadow, right? So it's gonna be darker. So you do the left side of the horn in the dark brown and the light the right side of the horn with white and lighter colors so that sort of creates like a shadow effect if that makes sense <laughs> okay anyway um we're also going to go in and do the eyelashes so we're going with black and a really fine brush again and we're going to create those nice eyelashes for it they've got really big eyelashes actually and then we'll also create its pupil so um giraffes actually have like a long almost like a rectangle pupil that goes sideways in their eyes um and then we'll go in with gray and we'll fill in the rest of the eyeball and um just put those eye creases back in so the eyelids the waterline all that and then we'll also do the nostrils and the mouth and some more fluff um on the ears and the chin and we'll pause here now we're going with our white and we add the highlights to the eyes this has got to be one of the favorite parts of painting for me honestly just adding those highlights to the eyes it's always it just brings a sparkle um yeah Anyway, we're going with that white and we'll go around the nostrils. We're going to start adding layers of white fluff. So the ears have got lots of white fluff in there. Um, obviously the chin. Um, just under the eyes, bits of white. And we'll pause. Now we're going to do the background. You can do this in whatever colour you like. This week I've decided to try something new and do like a rainbow crazy abstract background. So I've just sort of gone in with um, half of the background in blue 
and the other half um, just in tiny little strips of colour and then I've just sort of splattered paint on and yeah we'll take a little pause here here I've also just added a little tongue like it's up to you if you want to you just get some pink and create a tongue if you like you don't have to um, another thing is you can go in with black and outline the entire giraffe and just go over its mouth um, its nostrils its eyes its eyelashes in black um, that'll make it stand out a bit more um, with that you know pretty crazy colorful background you kind of will need for black to make it stand out a bit um, and yeah you can also go in with like different colors and add little squiggles and little marks on the giraffe's patches or go around the patches of a different color if you want to make it a bit more abstract and funky you can do that um and yeah we'll take a pause here okay congratulations everyone um i hope you had fun doing this painting this week um let me know if there's any suggestions or anything for paintings we can do in the future we can definitely like try and work something out uh, always open to suggestions and also if you guys can try and take a group photo that would be amazing <laughs> okay hope you have a good week and i'll see you next week ciao